Adding a contact to an existing household is super easy with the Manage Household feature of the Nonprofit Success Pack. Each time a new contact is added from the Contacts tab, a new contact and new household is created. Let's say we want to add a child or spouse to an existing contact, but do not want to create a new household. Let's navigate to the Chase household record. Its primary contact is Roberto Chase. Let's add Jasmine Holst, an existing contact, to the same household. Select the Manage Household button. This brings us to the Manage Household screen. Now we simply enter the name of the household member, Jasmine Holst. You will see your search terms next to the magnifying glass and any matches below it. Our search returns a contact record for Jasmine Holst that was previously entered in Salesforce. We can see that Jasmine Holst has a household already, but we want to move her to the Chase household instead. Since we want to move the existing contact record, we click the plus icon to the right of Jasmine's name. After we add Jasmine to the household, the household account name changes, according to our naming rules, to Chase and Holst's household as we can see above the Manage Household on this page. Now we click Save. Notice that when we move Jasmine Holst to the correct household, the old household, which now has no other members, was automatically deleted and merged into this one when we saved the household account record. When we add contacts to households, we can also add a family member that doesn't exist as a Salesforce contact record. Let's add another child named Robbie Chase. Select the Manage Household button to take us to the Manage Household screen. This time, search for Robbie Chase and get no results. We click the plus to create a new contact record for Robbie. Salesforce tries its best to autofill the first and last name from your search terms. Select new contact. The contact will be added as a card next to Jasmine and Roberto. You can also check the exclude from household name, formal greeting, or informal greeting fields to prevent the household record from being renamed based on Robbie's addition to the household. Click save. After adding these contacts to our household account record, we can rearrange the contact cards to change the order of the names for generating greetings and for updating the name of this household. As we rearrange the cards, notice how the household name changes at the top of the screen, and the greetings change further down. For more information about managing households and adding contacts to household accounts, please refer to the NPSP documentation. Thanks for watching.